after a lifelong wait, a Vietnam veteran and his son will meet for the very first time. SNN's Danny Root has the story. A reunion, 48 years in the making. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe I finally got here. Henry, who is Vietnamese American, was raised by his mother in South Vietnam. His father was an American Vietnam soldier. And she don't remember much about his name and his last name because it's not me. She not speak English that time is very good, even until now, you know. I have no clue, I don't have any idea. So recently, he took an ancestry DNA test and hopes to find his father through his results. Henry found a half-sister and together they arranged a meeting with his father. Well, first, I asked them, do he's alive? They said yes, so that's how happy I never feel. That's just such wonderful. And I told myself, I have a daddy too, you know. His father, John Reed, was sent home from Vietnam before Henry was born, and John never knew what happened to his baby because the announcement letter was sent to his father by mistake. So I think he opened the letter. I think the letter was probably from Henry's mother telling him that she had had a baby boy. Uh -huh. Well, my dad, my dad picked the letter and didn't ever did tell me about it. When John found out, he drove all the way from Virginia to meet his son, now living in Venice with his wife Tina and four kids. Um, I'm really nervous because I, I remember talking about, like, do I have a grandpa when I was seven? And I'm like, Dad, can you please tell me? And he's like, I don't know about it. And now I just feel like it's all, like, not, not real. <laughs> I don't really know how to feel yet because I didn't know I had a grandpa. It was just grandma. So, I mean, yeah, I'm excited, but I don't know. Now, the family hopes to make up for lost time. So long. I know. I'm happy to meet you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Great, man. Big, wow. strong guy. Yes! Hey, thank you all very much. It's been a long time coming. Reporting in Venice, I'm Danny Root, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. I'm happy, so I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy, too. Henry and John tell us they have a lot to catch up on and are now planning to spend holidays together as one big family.